Good morning, friends. Wanted to just jump on here really quick because I realized I haven't been live in this group in a long time, in a while, on our Monday morning meetups. October's been, was quite a month. And I don't know about the rest of you, but it wasn't an easy month. There was a lot of stuff going on. Not just external stuff, but hmm, just a lot of kind of existential blah and yuck. So it's been a while, but we're back. Good morning, Keith. Got a stray fly. Um, and hoping November's going to be better. I'm going to make it better. We are still swimming. So I'm actually sitting by the fire getting warm back up because I went out there this morning. And it's cold, but it's kind of like a high. Like uh, if you've ever been a runner, that runner's high. I don't know. It's a cold swimmer's high, I guess. It's really fun. <laughs> Makes you feel very alive and invigorated when you've been in 45 degree water first thing in the morning. You're ready to go for the day. Warmed up, moving. Uh, we had our hog harvest class this weekend, which is a big deal. Uh, it's three days of very intense moving and teaching and being on your feet and two whole pigs in the freezer on salt. Uh, it's quite a thing. It's very wearing. Exhausting. So last night we relaxed and rested and I realized, oh yeah, once again, I'm actually feeling pretty good this morning. Um, I've redesigned how we eat at Hog Harvest. Used to be we were doing three big meals a day with snacks in between and, you know, sampling all the pork. And it was really fun. But by the end of the weekend, you didn't want to eat for a whole week. So I've revamped it now that I've learned more about it. And we have one big meal at noon, just like we do normally around here. And then we have soup for Saturday supper. And it's really nice. It's light but very satisfying and we eat still a ton <laughs> and we eat lots of different stuff because we have bread and cookies and pie and donuts we don't usually do all of it with lard which is really fun so that's why we do it for hog harvest but we have I've revamped it and now it's we don't have as much left over because we've converted it into the soup. <laughs> so it's easier on the kitchen staff and easier for cleanup. And we don't have a week's worth of food without having to cook a thing. And it just puts a lot of lightness into the whole system all the way around. So that's a good thing. I'm applying my self-care personally to everything and it works much better for the whole system, which is how it's supposed to work, right? Ease is part of the whole thing. Stress and digestion though, going back to October and it being so intense, but even this weekend, all the intensity, it's stressful. It throws your, it can throw your digestion off. So I had a couple things I thought, you know, easy things to do and I can share them with you because you can very easily adjust your digestion so that you're not, the stress that you're under, the stress that you're feeling, anxiety, whatever it is, doesn't have to zap your digestion and kill it. So a few easy things when you're feeling stressed before you eat. Take a moment to breathe three deep breaths before you pick up your fork or spoon, whatever it is. In all the way down to your seating bones, your pelvic bones, all the way down into your hips and then back out. Just do that three times. You can do it while you're saying grace over your food. But three deep breaths. It kicks you into your rest and digest system so that your stomach can actually digest your food. Um, make sure then too that you're sitting. Uh, I know a lot of moms, and I do this too, where you're like up and down, up and down, grab this, grab that, 
sometimes I have to remind myself, no, you have to sit until you're done eating. <laughs> it's what we do. When you sit though, you're present with it. And that's really important. So breathe, sit down. And then one time a day, when you are feeling a lot of stress, do something that nourishes your mind or your spirit. A lot of times, I'm super guilty of this, right? We all do it. You eat because you're bored or upset or whatever. Feeling stressed, stress eating, right? We all do it. Do something that's not eating that nourishes your mind and body. Go for a walk, read your devotional, read your Bible, read something inspiring. Um, take a hot bath. I don't know. Figure it out. What would nourish your mind or your body or your mind or your uh, emotions so that you are scratching the itch without putting it down your throat into your stomach, which isn't what wants the nourishment anyway. So easy ways to deal with stress and not let it zap your digestion. So I've been using those and it, it's helping, it's working. Plus the cold water and all of my other tools. So if you're having problems with stress and digestion, let me know because I'd love to have a conversation with you. Um, partly, I am revamping my coaching class and I'm real curious to know what would be of use to you? How can I serve you better? What areas are you particularly interested in? Curious about? Uh, wanting some help with so that I can redesign it so that it is just more helpful to people. Everybody needs to feel alive and vital and peaceful and joyful. And I think that's what a lot of people want. That's what I hear. And I'd love to be able to bring that to more people through healthy lifestyle habits because that's what you have for free. So that's it for today. Thanks for coming, Keith, and hello to your wife. And have a great and abundant day, all of you.